That way I don't have to rewrite it all over again and then it's going to take up more space. Good? Minus what? Plus 2x over x plus 2 squared. Anything we can put together, Ashley? Yes. Okay. What would we end up with? Yeah. Oh, x squared. X squared. Plus 4x. Plus 4x. Beautiful. Minus 4. All math. over. I love math. Yeah. X plus 2. <laughs> Once we get to this particular point, we just have to check to see if we can simplify it anymore. So yeah. can we simplify it anymore from here? Yes. X squared plus 4x plus 4? Shucks. Shucks. Can we factor this guy? No? no? There's nothing that gives us negative 4 and positive 4? Yes? Negative 2 and positive 2? Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, 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 and then later what we're going to do is we're going to use this and we're going to find the critical values. And then we're going to find out where the function is increasing, where the function is decreasing, and then we're going to find the maximums, and we're also going to find the minimums. And then we're going to get the second derivative of this, so quotient rule again. Yeah. And then that's going to tell us the concavity of the curve. Lucky. And it's going to tell us whether the first derivative is increasing or decreasing based off of the sign of the second derivative. It's beautiful. I love hey, math. Let's try another one. Boom. Here we go. We're running out of time. We've got to crank it up. We're going too slow. Second block did these like nothing. Come on. Okay, second block, guys. Here we go. We got a quotient to get its derivative. We got to use the quotient rule. Here we go. Low. D high. What's the derivative of tension? You should have memorized it already. Secant squared. Secant squared. X minus tangent x times derivative of the bottom. D low, right? Over x plus 2. <coughs> All right, so let's expand this. So secant squared times x. x secant squared. Secant squared times 2. 2 secant squared x minus tangent x. All over x plus 2 squared. Can we simplify that? Any identities that you remember from pre-cal that we could probably use there? Or is that good enough? Is that good? Are you satisfied with that? Not really. Not really? It seemed too easy?
Why is it sine theta? Because it's negative, and that's negative sine, so it becomes positive sine. Good? Where'd you get zero? I didn't get zero. I just get zero. Oh, where'd you get that? Oh, I know I Squared. They're thetas, okay? All right. So what do I end up with here? Cosine theta times one. Cosine theta. Cosine times cosine. Cosine squared. Minus. Sine squared. Over one minus cosine theta squared. Okay. What could we do here? We got that cosine squared and that sine squared, but if it were addition, then we could make it one. So can I make them both positive? Yes. What could I do? So I could say like cosine theta minus one times what? Cosine squared <laughs> plus sine squared. <laughs> I just took out a negative from these two. Do you understand? Are we okay? Yeah. One minus cosine theta. Just kidding. Squared. So what does this become here? One times the negative one. So we have cosine theta minus 1 over 1 minus cosine theta squared. Oh man, if only they were the same. We could take out a negative? Oh, cool. Again? So then this becomes positive 1 minus cosine theta over 1 minus cosine theta squared. Okay, now what happens? We can cancel one of these guys, right? Negative one over. Oh, this is awesome. I really like that one. <laughs> we did all that for what? Just to cancel out the sign. Just to cancel out the sign? I would have just left it you would have just left it as what? As this? Yeah, but it was multiple choice. Or as this? If it were multiple choice, this problem would be like one on your test where I told you, show that the derivative of that is that. Okay, okay so, right, they do some problems like that on the AP test. Right. They want to see if you can get your answer to look like that. <laughs> There's always going to be one like that on one of the free response. Every good. You have a good day. Good? Keep going? Let's keep going. I got three more examples to do. We'll be finished. Ready? Yes. Let's do it. If we look at this one, we have 3 minus 1 over x over x plus 5. So for this one, we don't have just one thing divided by another thing. We have a fraction within the fraction, right? So what we need to do is we need to fix it. We need to make it one single fraction. So how could I do that? You bring the x up to the negative first. We have to get what up here first? A common denominator, so we can make this become an x by multiplying it by x, right? So that'll give me what? 3x minus 1 over x, and then it's all of that over x plus 5. So we know that these two guys will just what? Multiply with each other, right? So now I have f of x is equal to 3x minus 1 over x times x plus 5. And here I do want to actually multiply it out so I can be left with just one thing over one thing. So this will be 3x minus 1 over x squared plus 5x. And now we're ready to apply the quotient. Okay? Let's do it. What do we start off with, Luis? No. No! X squared plus 5x. D high! Minus high! D low! Over! Low squared! X squared plus 5x. Orale. Let's do it.
do it. Three times x squared. Three x squared. Three times five x. Fifteen x. Oh, I'm gonna do foil and then change the sign. Three x times two x. Six x squared, but it becomes minus six x squared. Three x times five. Positive 15x, and then this is what? Minus 2x, so what's 15 take away 2? 13, but then it becomes what? Negative 13x. We okay? Negative 1 times 5? Minus All over. Which should be positive 5? Oh yeah, because positive 5, because this was negative and then the negative. You're right, good. Making sure you were listening. <laughs> That's why I make mistakes on purpose. Good? Any light terms? Everybody makes mistakes. We are. We Everybody, all everybody mistakes. has those days. <laughs> so negative 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 over x squared plus 5x squared. Does it look like anything would cancel out? We tried it in the other class, so I have it up here. We took out a negative, right? So the signs changed, and then we did the factoring. 3 times negative 5 was negative 15, and then we wanted negative 2. So it is possible, negative 5 and 3. Remember, we have to divide by what? By 3. So this gives me the 3x minus 5. This gives me 1, so x plus 1. So neither of these two will be factors on the denominator. So there's no point in going any further than this, because I can't be, I won't be able to simplify it anymore. This is the derivative. Is it getting easy? Yeah. Sort of? Alright. One more example. I want you to try this one. It says, show using the quotient rule that if I get the derivative of this function, it equals this. You got it? Alright, let's see. See if you can do it. Go. Get started. No! What do we write? X squared minus 1. D high! Minus X squared plus 3X plus 2. D low! Over! Good job. So my derivative is going to be x squared minus 1 times 2x plus 3 minus x squared plus 3x plus 2 times 2x, right? Mm -hmm. All over x squared minus 1 squared. Ooh, la, la. Let's do it. This is already the derivative. If I had to use it for something, I could use it in this particular form. Like if I just needed to find the slope of the tangent line, I don't have to go any further. I can just go to every single x and put whatever number they want me to plug it in there. Do you understand? Okay, we're just, we're just simplifying it because in this problem they want it to look like that. So we've got to make it look like that. So let's do it. x squared times 2x. 2x cubed. x squared times 3. 3x squared. Negative 1 times 2x. Negative 1 times 3, negative 3. 2x times x squared, minus 2x to the third, because of the minus. 2x times 3x, minus 6x squared. 2x times 2, minus 4x. All over x squared minus 1 squared. Ooh, this is a fun one. So fun. So fun. so fun. Any light terms? Anything that cancels out? 2x to the third, thank God. 3x squared minus 6x squared, that's what? Negative 3x squared. Negative 3x squared. Okay. Negative 6x minus 3 all over x squared minus 1 squared. Okay. Now comes the simplifying. Can we cancel anything? Or factor anything out? So we take out a negative 3, we're left with positive x squared plus 2x plus 
one. Okay. Now what can we do? Can we factor the top one? What does that one factor out to be? X plus one? X plus one? Does this guy in here factor out? What does it factor out in there as? X plus one, X minus one, and it's all of that how many times? Two, because it's squared, right? So check this out. I'm going to write it like this. Negative three times X plus one times X plus one over X plus one times X minus one times X plus one times X minus one. Is that okay? Is that the same thing? So are there any common factors? The x plus 1's, right? So what do we end up with? Negative 3 over? Is that the same as the answer that they wanted up here? Woo, beautiful. That was I so love much math. fun, right? I, I would try to stop. I, like, I hear this beautiful and it kicks in, clicks in my head. I love math. You did it way easier? Yes. How did you do it, Luis?